The story of Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds doesn't start in victory. An American soldier taken prisoner in World War II only days after arriving in Europe in the Battle of the Bulge. Edmonds was taken to Stalag 9B, a Nazi prisoner of war camp in central Germany, arriving Christmas Day. Starving, Edmonds and his friends drew up plans for a restaurant, eating off an imaginary menu. After 30 days, he was moved to another POW camp where he was tested in a confrontation with Nazi doctrine. The German commander ordered Edmonds to separate out his Jewish soldiers. Edmonds, a Christian, refused. And the next morning, his 1,200 American soldiers stood together. Seventy years later, one of those Jewish soldiers, Lester Tanner, recounts the defiance against the German commander. And he says to Edmonds, you can't all be Jewish. Someone said, we're all Jews here. And this German major, angry, takes out his Luger, points it at Edmund's head, and said, you will order the Jewish American soldiers to step forward, or I will shoot you right now. Edmonds stood his ground, and the camp commander stormed off. He had saved his men. Within months, the war was over and Edmonds was home. He never shared the story before he passed away in 1985, not even with his son. I'd ask him from time to time as I got older, as a teenager and a college, college age kid, Dad, tell me about your, your army experience. Son, there's just thing, some things I'd rather not talk about. Chris Edmonds discovered his father's story in a 2008 New York Times article about Lester Tanner selling former President Richard Nixon an apartment in the 70s. You look at your dad as a hero, but I, I never knew he had a cape hanging in his closet, and he did. Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds is the first American soldier honored as righteous among the nations, non-Jews who saved Jews during the Holocaust. Edmonds awarded the recognition he never sought. His war, which started in defeat on the battlefield, ended in victory for his men. Orrin Lieberman, CNN, Jerusalem.